right, class, before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. N no, wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Nasha, but we're still short of a few vital parts. What? I could have sworn it. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, just that ticket. Spick and span. Boom, 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 boom. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walter Bolt. A pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores, from digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp, easy peasy. But rocks! Then but rocks! Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> Right! This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Emergency! 
your robot calls all the... Hey, what was that? It's an awesome bot! He's all right! No way! That's Dinbot! Oh, no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Dinbot! You mean a Den Walter bot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? He takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get pie face and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, pie face. And you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Me down. They work! They actually work! Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete philosophy. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sons. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. No, I am Walter Bot. Don't like school. I hope the mission hasn't gone wrong. Don't worry, Curly will be here. <laughs> Made it. Did you get it? 
from my dad's DVD collection. Invasion of the Cosmic Space Slugs. Fantastic! We've got to watch it now! this movie. The star and director. What's it going to be called, Den? Uh, Den Dare versus the spider dog and uh, pie tin monster from the moon of a menacing five. Ready, set, go! Oh, uh, hang on, Den. It's not in focus. No alien menace will get past Den Dare! <laughs> Can we do a take two, then? <sighs> Meow! Hang on. What was that? An alien robot meow. Aliens don't meow. They growl. How do you know? Have you ever heard an alien growl? Oh, try again. Go for it! <laughs> Result! That's it for Dende Space Station. Now we need to find an alien landing place. Aha! Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Isenthoid is non scriptus. Hmm, a common bluebell. <laughs> <gasps> How careless! Strange footprints. Somebody needs to be told to watch their step. Uh, it still looks like a playhouse to me. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've still got to add me special effect. Hey, Nasha! <laughs> In you go, Pie Face. This is where the aliens appear for the first time. Uh, what do I say, Den? This planet is ours for the taking! Got it. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. And go, Pie Face! Go, Nasha! Oh my goodness! It, it, it can't be, can it? A spaceship? <gasps> oh no! A, a spaceman! And a hairy spider monster! This taking is ours for the planet! Ah! Aliens do exist! And they're invading Beano! 
Doctor Town! I must warn humanity! This planet is ours for the taking. <laughs> They're here! The aliens have landed! Get away from me! Hey. Aliens! I've seen them, I tell you! Eh? What? Aliens, you say? Yes! Look! This taking is ours for the planet! Robot aliens? Spider creatures! And I just made myself a cup of tea and I saw this giant silver man walk past my kitchen window! I mean, you don't oh, see If that I could just call you back... Here. No, it were terrible. Scared the living daylights out of me. I was just taking me pie out of the oven and this flying saucer swooped down and stole me wheelie bin. Oh, I nearly dropped me pie, I did. Oh, have you seen them too? Oh, I don't know where they're from. I'll be there as, uh, as soon as I can. Oh. Did they? Did they really? Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Those fairies at the bottom of the garden told me this would happen. They did. Oh, no. We're all going to be turned into green vegetables. Oh. It's not the end of the world. Well, uh, the space aliens have arrived, people, so uh, here's a track to mark the uh, end of the world, all right? Aliens! Oh, cool! Danger won't let you invade his planet! OK, OK, we surrender, Den! And cut! So, that's it, then? I guess. Although a big disaster scene with loads of extras would make it mega special. Run for your lives. This is preposterous. What's going on? It's the end of the world! Aliens have invaded! <laughs> There's one of them! <laughs> Oops. Are we in trouble? Brilliant! What? This is great! Put your helmets back on and chase people! It'll look fantastic! <sighs> OK, if you say so. Right, uh, 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 you lot stay here, uh, and uh, I I'm going in. Let me come with you, Sergeant. No, Constable. This uh, uh, this is something I have to do alone. Oh, be careful, Sergeant. What is it, man? What have you found? Glow sticks I I in a playhouse. Oh, do you realise your little hoax has caused widespread panic? But I thought I was sure I... Really, Walter, I expect better from you. Very poor show. But... 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 Uh... I want a handwritten apology to every resident of Beano Town. On my desk, first thing. Yes, Mrs Creature. Cakes, check. Box of tissues, 
check. <sighs> All set to watch my lovely old-fashioned romance movie. <sighs> Dearest Nigel, don't ever leave me. Oh, Felicity, don't speak. Just oh, a full-on body slam. Then a spinning bulldog. <laughs> you don't mind, do you, Mum? It's wrestling, live from Beano Town Conference Centre. Yes, I do mind. Give me that. But, Mum, Mr Magnifico's on. He's our favourite. Yay! I don't care. It's a lovely afternoon. Go and play outside. Oh, hello, dear. Looking forward to the rubber band and paperclip dinner tonight? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Just going through my speech. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Hiram Big Bucks himself is going to be there. Really? The company owner? At the dinner? Yes. And my boss, Mr Scrimp, says that if my speech doesn't go down well, I'll be demoted to the drawing pin division. That's nice, dear. So if I can just turn this down a bit while I practice... Uh, excuse me, I was watching that. It's lovely out. Go and practice your speech in the garden. Was it not Shakespeare who said, a rubber band? A rubber band. Twisty Tornado, you and the Pie Man of Doom better watch out. Here comes the Prime Minister and the Nasherizer's special move. The Flying Fang Fling with Twist. <laughs> My kingdom for a rubber... dog. <laughs> Nasher! Of course, darling. How could they not? You're young. Oh, goodness, what now? <laughs> Mum, Nash has hurt a tooth in a freak wrestling accident. All right, let me see. Oh, Nasha, you better take him to the vet, Dennis. All right, Mum, see ya. And you, back in the garden. Now! Yes, dear, right away, dear. <laughs> Put two drops in its water and your goldfish won't feel off colour for long. Right then, young man. What seems to be the problem? Uh, it's his tooth. He had a bit of an accident. Hmm. No problem. You wait here and I'll take a look at him. Now then, let's see those teeth. Goodness me! Let me know which one's sore. I think we've found the little rascal. <laughs> Nasha! What's she doing to me best mate? Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm just going to give him something for the pain. Now, hold still. I'm going to knock you out with a little laughing gas. don't think so. Hooligans! Sorry, Dudley, it's an emergency! I'll give it back later! <sighs> you little pests! You just wait! Ah! Oh, yeah! Oopsie! We should be able to lose the dentist in here! Oh, wow! Nasha, can you believe where we've ended up? It's the conference centre where the wrestling's on! Yes. Look, it's Mr Magnifico! Yes. Yes. Right, where are those menaces on wheels? Uh-oh! In here, Nasha! <laughs> Just a wild guess, Nasha, but I'd say Dad's firm having their dinner here. Let's see if we can find him. <gasps> Maybe not. Quick, onto the table. Uh, Mr Big Bucks and I are looking forward to your speech. What's his name? Last year's speaker was brilliant. Uh, who was it again? Oh, yes. Me. Oh. Are you all right, Nasha? <laughs> I'm not 
surprised you've got indigestion. The cylinder's probably leaking. A praise silence for the manager of the rubber band and paperclip division. Uh, what's his name? Go on, dear. You'll be fine. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honour to be in the presence of some of the legends in the world of rubber bands and paper clips here tonight. Hang on in there, Nasher. With a bit of luck, Dad's speech will send them to sleep. Of the first coated paper clips. Nasher! Corrosion resistant and yet maintains the malleability of the standard metal non coated variety. Of course, both rubber bands and paper clips play a vital role in the fashion. Many people I know have a small pot upon their desk in which they keep a selection of rubber bands for a situation which may arise which they have not yet worked out. And that is why I firmly believe that we in the rubber band and paperclip community should stick together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> stick together. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, thank you very much. I, I didn't think it was that funny, but it's actually funnier than I thought. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, thank you. That's too much. <laughs> It was a mistake, Mr. Scrimp. He didn't mean to. <laughs> Please don't send me to the drawing pin division. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Do excuse us, gentlemen. <laughs> nice speech, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and he's horrible, don't <laughs> Yay! Easy! What the heck are you wearing? <laughs> so, you think I look funny, do you? I'll have you know that I designed this costume myself. <laughs> That Mr. Magnifico! <laughs> Stop it, Afro Hulk! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Scrimp, Mr. Beatbox, <laughs> how can I ever apologize? Uh, 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 apologize? What for? Great, <laughs> wonderful conference, Scrimp! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Big Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Great speech, what's his name? <laughs> In fact, funniest speech I ever heard. <laughs> Make sure this man gets a bonus. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> would this be a good time <laughs> to ask you for tickets to the wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> Tickets! <laughs> of course, Dennis! <laughs> Here, you'll need money for drinks and eats, too! <laughs> Take me wallet! <laughs> and now for the main event, ladies and gentlemen, defending world champion Mr. Magnifico versus the fearsome face dancer, Freddy Fernandez! Magnifico looking for a way in, but, but wait, <laughs> something seems to be the matter with Magnifico. He's, he's laughing. Fadoon is laughing. Oh, oh Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Look 
like a pile of junk now, but it'll soon be the best BMX course ever. We'll build it right over there. Hang on, what's that? Party don't start till this afternoon. Eh? Whose party? Oh, Athena. I might have guessed. It's my summer party, Dennis. Didn't you get the invitation? Was it in a glittery pink envelope? Like, yes. Lavender scented. Nasherate it. <sighs> Everyone got one. Uh, I thought it was junk mail. I dropped a pie on mine and then Nasher ate it too. Well, you were all invited to come and see me mix with A-list supermodels and it girls. And DJ Crazy will be laying down some banging tunes. Yes, it's going to be the Beano Town event of the year. That's tough because we're building a BMX assault course challenge right here, right now. What? You can't! We can! No! I forbid it! You can't do BMXing near my party! Just you try and stop us! This means war, Dennis! to Athena's party? No a chance, Walter. Oh, phew! Thank goodness. I wouldn't want you lowering the toe. Oh, that hammering is so annoying! Oh, so lovely to be invited to a proper grown-up party. You're very early, Walter. I thought you might need some help to get the party going. <laughs> So, I bought you a CD of Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Perfect. This'll drown out Dennis. What's that howling? Is someone hurt? Oh. It's not us, Den. What she makes of this. The Din Makers full blast all the way up to 11. <laughs> ha! You can't get rid of us that easily, Athena. <sighs> should be doing this, Athena. Health and safety, you know. Who cares? I have a balloon crisis! Get blowing! Oh, right you are. Pipe is 
scary. Oh, I need pie to calm me down. That's better. How long do we have to stay at this party, Keisha? Until the little hand points to the twelve, I think. We'd better be the only glamorous, good-looking people there. Oh, that must be it! Hello? Is this the party? Sorry, this is an exclusive event. <laughs> exclusive? That's my middle name. <laughs> Come on, girls. Oh, <laughs> <I> can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> what is this music? Shepun Crash Car. You'll have to change it. And we'll need canopies. And some spectacular entertainment. I don't think so. <gasps> what? Oh, nobody says not to us. We're a list. Like we care. <gasps> this is strictly for BMXs. <laughs> 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 You know 
what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework, Handin. Any second now. Flea-ridden hound! Shoo! Avoiding chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm 5 at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. Ha! Ha! of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move. Crang! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr Ha Ha's. Fantastic! <laughs> Careful, Den. It's infectious. <laughs> Out. I'll see you later. So, what shall we do now? We'll have to make our own fun. If I hold me breath, maybe I can hold back these hiccups. <gasps> Here goes. <gasps> Polish me kit bag. That's the worst case of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of milk, spoonful of mustard, topped with a squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr Ha-Ha's <laughs> got any ideas. Seeing as it was his can of giggles that <laughs> caused the problem. 
Always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. Uh, why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them with a sudden fright. Mr. Ha Ha? <gasps> Problem! <gasps> Can of giggles! <laughs> Hiccups! Oh dear! Did you open the can in a confined space? <laughs> There's your problem! <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle ups! You need this special supplement. <laughs> the Can of Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle Ups. <laughs> Cure number one balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the ha ha mega jumbo pencil. Mr. Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So, we sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? nothing. Nothing. Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, how would Krang Power Up do this? Krang! <laughs> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <laughs> wanted. <laughs> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. This should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <gasps> Krang! Oh! <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, oh, just having a laugh. Oh. Just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups. <laughs> and you're not helping. <gasps> Wow, Pie Face, how did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush! <laughs> Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! <laughs> Curly, pie face, what are you playing at? <laughs> it was your grand idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're useless. At this rate, I'll miss the movie and I'll never get to show what Krang Power Up with special move! Dennisy Wennessy! Our favourite little nephew! Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright! Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties! <laughs> You were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured! Now I can go to the movie and meet Krang Power Up! Krang! Oh! Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> Just like you did it in Crunch of Fists 3, Mr. Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me.
family fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Yay! <laughs> oh! Now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasher. <laughs> Ducky, ducky! <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue! And a Pomeranian puff crested Dabbler! Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buzz off! No! Time for action! Crumbs away! Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Hello, what's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in twenty minutes. Uh, okay. This gives me a brain stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny Dennis is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy. Step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. A nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today, or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> What? What is it? If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Walter! No! Don't move! I'm coming! I'm coming! It's okay! Catch this! Oops. Bad news! Hooligans! 
<laughs> Typical Dennis. Still causing trouble. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> if just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. <laughs> I've got ya! Dennis, let go! Whoa! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <laughs> Maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chop chip cherry tutti frutti with extra sprinkles! <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave me alone! Clear off! Leave him alone! And while one of them was messing about in a boat, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you, oh, you little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Ha-ha! <laughs> what have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well then, that's a, that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and, and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go, come on. Uh, uh. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye! Yeah. And that's for me loopings. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I I uh I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. <laughs> Captain Yoke of the Starship Ectopus.
surprise. I have lost several crew members to a terrifying life form known as the Spoon. <gasps> What's that? It's one of them! I come in peace. No! <laughs> times have I told you, Dennis? Don't play with your food. You don't mind when Gran does it. I said, shut! Yes, well, she's only staying here until her foot gets better. That's right. Meanwhile, you don't mind looking after Harley, right, Dennis? Who's Harley? My hog. The pig. Sounds like fun to me. Can't wait to meet him, Gran. You will, when you go and feed him. Hey. Check out my glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy mistaking a hog for a hog. A what? A pig for a motorbike. Oh, well, that's the problem with the internet. You never quite know what you're going to get. True, but if she decided to keep the pig, why didn't she buy a home for it? You know, a sty. She did try to build a sty. And dropped a brick on her foot. Meanwhile, the pig's running around all over the place. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. You found my spares. I wondered where they were. Ta! Right, I'm off to feed Harley. There's some leftover cabbage in the kitchen. <laughs> what a pong! Make sure he's got clean water. Will do, Gran. Come on, boy! All right. Stay and keep Nipper company. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, boys. Let's see if anyone's noticed that I put salt in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Harley. Here's your swill. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. See you later, then. Bye! Oh, no! The bucket! Uh, me again, fella. Just uh, come back to get me... <laughs> that little Dennis looks at it on the floor, all up the walls and all over his face and says... Me never wanted stupid birthday cake anyway. <laughs> really? Brilliant! <laughs> oh, that's great. That's another one. <laughs> oh yes, Dennis was a real handful when he was a baby. Oh, hello, love. How's Harley? Oh, a bit lively, as you can see. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice in here. Oh yeah, Gran made a pie. <coughs> Delicious. So, are you guys ready for band practice? Bring it on! Uh, isn't that my jacket? Yes, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, time for a break, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a break. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. It's probably past Harley's feeding time. Eh? Oh. OK, Gran. Come on, lads. You can give me a hand with the pig. You go, Dennis. Your friends can catch up with you. Oh. All right. Uh, see you in a bit. I haven't played one of these since... Well, I've never played one of these. But it's never too late to learn. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Oh, here's some fertiliser for your rhubarb. What? Well, thanks, Den. Wait a minute. I thought you were... Who's playing my guitar? Wow! I see your foot's better. Uh, oh, uh, well, actually, it doesn't hurt when I do this, but if... Oh, if I just walk like this... Oh, the pain. Right. I thought you two were too tired to keep on rocking. 
Oh, we are now. Your gran has even more energy than you do, Jen. Hmm. Come on, boy. Let's go and read some comics. And there might be a doggy treat in it for you, too. <laughs> gran, what are you doing? Oi! That was the last sausage. Oh, never mind. It's pretty much done. <laughs> Gran, you shouldn't make a fire in here. You could have burnt down me treehouse. Well, I don't know about that. It took me ages to get it going in the first place. I had to use all that paper there. My comics! You should fire to... My comics! You don't need comics. I'll tell you a funny bedtime story. It's not my bedtime. Is it not? Ah, oh, well. We'll have a laugh in the morning, eh? Oh. 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 Here, boy. Night. What? You can't stay here. This isn't a granny flat. It's my treehouse. My treehouse. Well, at least that's over with for this morning. Dennis! Your gran says don't forget to give Harley his chewable vitamin. Pesky pig. Smelly swine. Hot-bellied pest. Go! Hi, lads. What's going on? Just tidying up. Your gran asked me to. <laughs> what are you doing, Pie Face? Running up some curtains for the treehouse. Your gran showed me how. Right, that's it. I've had enough. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. <laughs> doing there? I had to get away. Oh, I thought you were hanging out with Gran. I was. I love you, Gran. She's so funny, but she had me drumming for hours yesterday. I'm worn out. All this fun is starting to feel like hard work. Yeah, I know. And her foot is totally better. I think she's well enough to go home and look after Harley. But since she started hanging out with us in the treehouse, she doesn't want to leave. That's right. And I can't keep up with her and... She ate my pie. Not your... Yes. The pie I saved for emergencies. <gasps> right. Heads together, lads. I've got a plan. I don't know why you've brought me back home. I was really happy in the treehouse. <laughs> this way, folks. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, wow! You built a sky for Harley. Brilliant! But careful, mind your foot. Oh, oh, um, actually, I think it might be getting better. Thanks, Dennis. That's OK, Gran. Do you think you're going to be able to cope all right? Harley's a bit of a handful. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to handle him. Now he's got his own place to live in. So, where is this pig, anyway? <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> A stupid pig. Hey, wait a minute. I recognise that sty. Didn't it used to be my shed? Used to be, Dad. Used to be. Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we've got the treehouse to ourselves again. 